Hello and welcome back to the last chapter of the course, Save Your Time with Excel User Form. Congratulations as you already achieved so much simply because you kept this far. I would be extremely happy to know if the material you've seen so far were able to generate more ideas or how can you be more productive at work. Even better to know if you're already applying some of the materials from this course in your day-to-day -day situations. Here in this lecture, we will be exploring the way we save additional time by automating creation of PowerPoint presentation slides from the vector of data. You see here on this picture that if the data is nicely categorized and stored, there is no better way you can imagine to use it for generation for other office documents. Basically, by now you should already get the advantage sense you can do the same output in 10 seconds instead of perhaps 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Although you will quickly realize that it's surprisingly simple, I will split this lecture in two simple logical parts. That is, one, to download the template for this lecture, and second, review the code. First thing you need to consider when dealing with PowerPoint from VBA is the object library. This should be enabled, so you need to go to VBA editor, go to tools, and then go to uh, references, and find the object Microsoft PowerPoint object library. In case you download the file from the course, you may have different version of Office library. To follow the tutorial, you should download the material attached to this lecture. I have placed all the source code, but in reality, from the previous uh, solution from the case study 2, I did only change two modules, which is MyCar Checklist User Form and Programs.bas. Let's understand how this code works. Simply open the user form from the VBA editor and find a few differences. You have a new button, first of all. As you remember, our code was packed into the user form, hence feel free to double-click on this button. You see that what is happening when we click on that button. First, we load the, the road information that we clicked on. Secondly, we pass this information to the program that creates PowerPoint slides. This program is actually stored in a module, but you can also search it as I'm showing you, if you prefer that. Feel free to study how this program works. It's all split in several steps, which are declare variables, open few PowerPoint slide, and set variables from the data we have in the file. Then we create a blank slide and populate this slide with title. We set up the picture and we fit one text box. Finally, we clean up the variables. That's it. You can now practice to play with this template and see how fast it is to generate the slide from the vector of information. It takes seconds. Now I propose to finish off this section in style by doing the last case study. I'm looking forward to see you there.